guys, welcome back. It's Christine of Side Street Market and I have another haul video for you. So this is another Goodwill haul. Now this one does not have a shop with me to go with it. It was just an evening that I felt like just getting out and going. I did do a little sneak peek on my Instagram, like a little reel just showing what was in my cart. But this is, you know, sometimes you just need a night to get out. So this particular night we had our total spend was $43.12, and it looks like I had three discounted items. I believe green was the color of the week, so green was 50% off. So we're going to go through and see what I got. First, just to get it out of the way, I bought this stack of um, baskets. There were two more. I've already kind of taken them to use them. There were nine of them. And it was $6 for all nine. And so I am doing a lot of whatnot sales and jewelry sales now. So this is great it's going to help me kind of organize my sales and get ready. So that's why I picked those up. Not too exciting, but you know, and we'll need storage. And then let's just start out with the really exciting stuff. We're just going to dive right into this and then I'm going to move these out of the way. So this shopping trip was the trip of art. Now, I keep telling myself, you need to stop picking up the art because it's not selling. But when you see these, I think you'll understand why I couldn't leave them behind. So this is the first one. And this is actually very heavy. So I'm concerned it won't sell. And if it doesn't, it's probably going to end up on my gallery wall. Like, I'm actually thinking I might keep this one because I have a large mountain fall themed. Well, it's a cruel piece. So let me show you that. It's a cruel piece, guys. So it's a, it's cool art. It was $5. It's framed very nicely. Um, and I'm thinking I have a large kind of cruel piece that is very fall tones with like the mountains in the water that it might be pretty until this sells to hang this in my hallway and use this for spring and summer in my hallway. Cause it's probably, it's, it's it's heavy, but I think it needs to stay with this frame. I don't want to take it out of this frame. I think it's a really beautiful... And now this may not be called cruel. This just may be a needle point. But it is a little bit of the thicker yarn. So I, I picked that up for $4.99. Now this one's definitely a cruel piece. This one's three-dimensional and it's a beautiful farmhouse. And all the trees and the farm... I'm sorry about the ring light. Are three-dimensional. And this one did cost $8 though. And it is framed on the back. I won't take it out. Someone did obviously was messing with it and did pull some of it out to see, I guess, what the back looked like. But I grabbed that. And then this one is for the animal lovers out there. Now this is a cross stitch because you can see all the X's. And it is on a linen so I can take it out and just ship the item. It was $4 and it's got a tuxedo cat. Here, let me do this real quick. And it's got a tuxedo. So I thought that was really cute. So I grabbed that too. Now I'm gonna move these out of the way and then I'll be right back and grab the other items. We are back. I'm still messing with my new ring light. Don't know how I like it yet. Okay. Whew. We've got a few things to go through. Let's go through a bag. So I don't know. It was six dollars and it looked like a, a bag of clear votives. Holly's crying to get in the studio now, so you may hear her in the background. So this was six dollars, and I don't know what I got in here. I might have been crazy. So the first one I saw was this, and it's a little Avon Dove. So these might, but these are heavy actually. So $6, and I think there's four in here. But you'll see why I picked up the bag, because there is one I saw that I might have to keep. It's a squirrel. And this is Avon as well. It's a little squirrel votive holder, and he's got his little nut in his mouth. Look, little ch -ch 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 -ch. I love squirrels, so I might have to keep this one. And then for turkey season, we have a little turkey coming up. So these are all Avon votive holders. And then there was this, 
which isn't marked Avon, it's polished and it's a little dachshund. It's a little dachshund paperweight. It does have some scuffing to the side. I'm gonna have to see if that cleans up, but it's just a little dachshund. So that's what was in that bag. I thought that was a good deal. Like I said, I'm probably going to keep the squirrel. Who am I kidding? I'm gonna sell the squirrel. And I was thinking of putting these on whatnot, but they're, they're kind of heavy. So I think this is something I'll probably end up putting on my eBay and Etsy because it is a heavier weight item. They definitely are not first class shipping. Whoa, careful. Okay, and then I picked these up, which are like little butter dishes or trays. They're probably Target now that I look at them. It was $1.99 for both of them. But I like the colors and they are marked on the bottom though. Like they are signed. So that's the part that threw me. Oh, I think it says February 19th. Launch. Oh, maybe it says February 19th lunch. But it's just a really fun set of abstract trinket dishes. I think someone wrote on the back in Sharpie. February 19th lunch. Like maybe they kept them as like memory things. I thought it was some fancy signature when I was looking at Goodwill. Two dollars. They were a dollar each. I'll figure it out. They're probably Target. I mean, they're still super cute. You know, these would actually make nice pet food dishes. I'm just saying. If you want to get all fancy. But I think they're really cool. They're like little dessert dishes. So I think those will still sell once I figure out what they are. I got to keep my price with that. Okay. And then, like, I kind of just had to put stuff on here carefully. Now, I did pick up two scarves, and these scarves are actually going to be giveaways on my WhatNot channel. So that's why I picked up the scarves. Because I thought they'd be kind of fun, like, on a jewelry sale, accessory sale. So the first one is this pretty pink and brown leopard tone. Just a nice kind of, like, acrylic. Nothing super fancy, but I thought this would be pretty and funky and I love the bold colors. And then this one is an infinity scarf, which means that um, there's no open and closed end. It's a wrap. This one is probably made in China. Yeah. But this one is that tiger print in all the rainbow colors. So I thought these would be really fun for an upcoming whatnot jewelry sale as the giveaway. Nice lightweight to put with someone's items. So I'm also thinking about giveaways too now. Let's see. And those usually are like, I think they're like $2.19 each or something. I went crazy with the pottery, guys. I really did. <clears throat> I'm back. I was digging everything out. So this next item, okay. You guys are gonna have to let me know, is this something that is so weird that it makes it cool? Or is it just, girl, you should have left it on the shelf. What were you thinking? It's a studio art piece, so you know that that, I'm a sucker for the studio pieces, but look at this thing. Look at this thing. It almost reminds me of those candles that used to like drip down the side, but it's a pitcher. It's a studio pitcher. It was $5, someone made it. And I thought, how cool would it be if someone had like a place by the water? It reminds me of the waves coming up. Or just tell me I was crazy. Just just tell me I was crazy. There's no chips or damage. It almost, you know what it looks like actually? Now that I look at it, it looks like one of those asparagus mold ones. Where like rows of asparagus, but they painted it blue instead. That's what they did. It was rose of asparagus, but they painted it blue. <laughs> so I grabbed it because I thought it was weird and fabulous. And it reminded me of a bubbling ocean. And then I picked this up because I just, it's much pinker than it's coming up on here. It's much more of a, um, a baby pink, but it's got this great white modeling on it. It almost reminds me of the weeping gold, but in white. But the inside is like clear. So it just kind of puzzled me. I mean, it's dirty in there. 
So it's like a clear inside with white textured exterior. The base is kind of clear. It felt very 80s. It's very lightweight. $3. So I just, it's glass. So maybe it's an encased glass. But I just thought that was really neat. So I don't know. I could be crazy. But that was three. And then, of course, I love me a mold. And this is a Holland mold. Look at this beautiful vase with this uh, rose transfer on it. And you can't even feel the transfer barely. Just in a few spots. But it's got this beautiful rose transfer. Holland mold. Gold top. And this was $4. So most of these guys, anything that starts at $3 and up, typically won't go to my whatnot just yet. Um, they'll start online. So this one will be going online. And I want to set these down so they don't clank and break. Put the scarves between them to protect it. And then I got this cool vase. It's just another studio pottery piece. It was $4. It is signed by Vic. But I liked the black and the, the cream color. I really, really liked it. I thought it was a great studio piece. And then I grabbed these bowls only because, I wonder what else was on sale. Something else must have been on sale. I was originally $5.99, was discounted to $2.99. Hmm. I have no idea. Oh, this whole thing was actually only $3 for those four votives. So they end up being a dollar each for me. That's interesting. Okay, because green was the color of the week. Okay, so I, not, I would not have bought these typically because they were $7 each, but they were 50% off. So for $3.50 each, the colors caught my eye. Now they are contemporary. They do have a seam mark. You can feel the texture of the flowers. But look how cool these are. So they're Anna designed in California by Lori Gates. The product can be used in a dishwasher, microwave at low settings. So it's a contemporary piece, but I loved the colors. And they had two of them, identical. So I got them both to test out because they were less than $4. So I figured that was worth giving it a shot because it has the maker and everything. And it had a great appeal. Then I grabbed this because I love me some vintage resin. And it's a resin trivet, but the... Normally I find these and it's got like um, seeds or just dried flowers. What I loved about this is it's got these little wood baskets in it and it was $4 and I've never seen one with the baskets. So I thought that kind of really gave it a cool different appeal. So even though it was $4, I was like, mm, I think I could still get 15 to 16 for it because I think this basket is very unique. I have not seen that before. And there's not much discoloration which usually you see a lot of scratching and discoloration on these, and this has none of that. So really nice quality. And I'm curious what these baskets even are. I think they're like wood chips because they do have some dimensions. So kind of cool. <clears throat> and then I spotted some Hager. So this was $9 for both of these. And we're gonna have the moment of truth now and see if there is damage. So I'll show you before I open. I saw the colors. It was on the end cap. I saw Hager. This one does have a chip on the side. But I think that can be forgiven. So they love to duct tape everything together. So I don't know if this top one is Hager as well. Let's get this off. Oh, good. They're not glued together. So this one says brush usa but look at the pretty color so again i paid <clears throat> nine dollars so that's 450 per per one and this one's in nice condition like i don't see any damage um it does sound 
it sounds fragile. So there may be a hairline somewhere I'm gonna have to inspect. But you know when you get that older pottery and you can just hear the delicateness? But yeah, that's beautiful. And then I love this green hanger planter. And I mean, I think the chip on the side can be forgiven. I'm hoping it can be just touched up with a little watercolor because that is beautiful for summer. So that is exciting. I'm very happy with those. There's no other major issues. Very, very excited. We have two items left, guys. So this was a pretty good... Now, when I first got in there, I had thought about filming for you guys, but it was really, really packed. And it was really, really hot. And like when I went to the bag section, there was nothing. So I'm like, oh, this isn't going to be a good one. Then I found the cruel art and then it just kind of started happening from there and I had to watch where I was going. So there will be other shop with me, so I promise. Okay, so then I picked these up because they're melamine and they were $3.99 and they reminded me of the Fiesta wear, the shape, but I felt like they had a real fun like 50s, 40s, 50s shape to them. So we're gonna take them out and see if they actually have a maker mark or anything on them. So yeah, they're just a nice light blue melamine and all they say on the bottom is B124. But just a nice, I mean, who wouldn't want camping if you've got a cool retro Airstream camper? I mean, can you just say mid-century? And the color, I'm not a fan or anything. Like, I guess blue is okay, but you know. I was happy to find those. And then there was another set next to it that was definitely like more modern and just not, not as fun as the Melamine. So the last thing I got, I took a chance on because I have no idea what this is. And it was all rolled up and it was $5. So it might be a wall tapestry. It might be a rug. It might have a giant stain or hole in the center. We're going to brave this together and find out. So it's, it's just, I guess it's like a runner. It looks like it's a runner. Oh, it's a table runner. This is a really, really long table runner. So this is a really cool kind of um, Southwestern table runner. So I think that was a good buy. I don't know how I'm going to show this in my light box because that is massive. And I don't think it's a floor runner because it's really, really long, like, like this is probably a good eight feet guys and it's got no tags on it. Oh, there was a tag, but it looks like it's been very loved. Yeah, the tag is like completely gone. So that's it guys. That was my Goodwill haul. So if you enjoyed the video, remember to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button guys, and I'll see you soon.